possibly to look after Steve Corica, who was so influential the last time these two teams met here in Melbourne. Matthew Breeze signals the start of a fixture which is always keenly anticipated, really more so than this one. Melbourne victory with three losses on the trot. They've never lost four in a row. Sydney FC under all sorts of scrutiny after just one win in seven matches, two wins in 11. And it's becoming decision time in terms of the season for both of these sides. Cole! Seven Cole! Unbelievable start for Sydney FC! Michael Theophilos perplexed. And the round off to celebrate. A mind-numbing start for Melbourne Victory. Not 30 seconds gone on the clock. And Melbourne Victory started with the ball at the kickoff. But it's a finish of real coolness from Shannon Cole and the two who linked up, Middleby and Cole, they were Sydney's best last week, and that's an absolute peach. Theoklatos scrambling, but with no chance, and what a great angle this will give us. An incredible start to this football match. What a fillip for Sydney FC. There's that somersault from Shannon Cole. Wonder goal from this young man who's building a big, big reputation. Melbourne victory stunned, absolutely stunned, as they were when they played Sydney FC here a couple of months ago. They now have to chase the game. Here comes Sydney again. Ross sets it up. Brendan Gann! Oh. Unbelievable! Two out of the top draw for Sydney FC, and we're only three minutes into the game. Stunning! Completely stunning! Michael, that is one of the great understatements of the year. Cannot believe what we've seen through the haze of the smoke that was released from the flare. The Coventry end was already smoking before the game started. And they'll be on fire after this start. Brendan Gann, let's rip. Five metres outside the penalty area. Away he goes, away she goes. Sydney, two to the good. Four minutes gone. Incredible start. Well, Michael Theoklatos has only had two things to do, and that's to pick the ball out of his net twice. Three minutes gone. The Cats amongst the pigeons in a huge way here. The assistant referee on that far side has flagged for something. I'm not quite sure what it is, but it is going to be a free kick for Melbourne victory. To be taken by Hernandez. Played short. Thompson hasn't been picked up. And Archie Thompson exacts a full price for Sydney FC's sloppy defending. The victory are right back in this game. Well, well, we couldn't say Melbourne had returned to their poor defending of recent weeks and going down by two goals to nil. We cannot extend the same commentary to Sydney FC. They went well to sleep. Bo Bridge conceding a free kick. They were very slow in reforming. Carlos Hernandez sprung the trap. Thompson with one touch to control. And then the shot on the turnover. Ivan Naseski, they're back in the game. Big time Melbourne. 14 minutes gone, three goals scored. Hang on to your seats. This is going to be a classic here at the Telstra Dome. Three goals already. Zumps John Cosmina and makes his third and final change. Nicky Ward on for Evan Berger, so he's emptied the bench. Ernie Merrick with 20 minutes left on the clock. Brendan Gann looks as though he'll be okay. Gann stretching as if to suggest that he picked up some sort of cramp. Here come the victory. Oh, it just gets better and better and better and better. Nick Ward. The super coach Ernie Merrick goes to the bench. And Nick Ward, the rising star from season one. And Melbourne's hopes are rising as a result of this strike. 
First goal for the victory for Nicky Ward. It's a sweet strike as well. No chance for Nesevsky. And Melbourne victory are back on level terms. Well, that could be the best of the four. Marika off, Aloisi on. Game on. Allsop. Fabiano. Pushed over. Clumsy from Matt German. Melbourne well aware that Sydney are down a man. They want to seize the moment. Musket. Plays in Archie Thompson. He created the space for himself rather easily. Musket again goes deep. All up across the face of goal. It's been turned in by Fabiano. The two substitutes have done the trick for Melbourne victory. Is that a victory dig from the Brazilian? I don't know, but it's the anglicisation of the Brazilian. The sub are mixed with an Irish jig. And they go three goals to two up Melbourne. And Sydney defensively, quite frankly, have not been able to deal with it. Danny Allsop in the air. And it was the header back across the goal, which put it on a plate. For Ney Fabiano, terrific player that he is, was never going to miss this one. Middle VB, Allsop, no contest. Five couldn't react in time. nesevsky has been brilliant, but he couldn't do anything to stop this one. Two goals four minutes and Melbourne now in the league what a fabulous game of football this has been he's made a statement Nate eh, Fabiano very little reaction from Ernie Merrick we've come to expect that and John Cosmina furious with his team's defense